Well, I'm investigating moose sightings and pretty sure this is where it was. I think the moose crossed right in these people's yard. Uh, I think they got a pet moose maybe, or two moose, meese, whatever. <laughs> I'm not seeing no tracks. I think it was oh, a while ago. Anyways, but I'm trying to predict their movements and patterns. And I know uh, like mothers and stuff like that will go to a more secluded place um, to have babies and everything. And I think that's what they're doing. The males will go to the place where there's the best food but mothers that are going to give birth want to find a nice safe place <clears throat> not the moose track the garbage along the roads are ridiculous maybe hmm. use this for some. moosey place to bed down. Boy, that looks like a big old bed right there. It's funny, out of all the tracks and all the moose sign I see, I don't ever see poop. It's weird. That woman, that sells some moose turds. Boy, she's got her work cut out for her. <laughs> I don't know how she does it. I can't find a single one. I'm not seeing tracks really keep checking I'll take a picture right where I think that guy took that picture I think I got it figured out I left the camera in the car <laughs> I'll be sad if a big old moose comes running by maybe this is the bridge they use I don't know is that the Moose Bridge? See any tracks? Huh. It's hard to say because they're, they're really traveling right now. And uh, they're going from their winter grounds to their summer grounds, which is kind of different. Um, in the winter, they want to be by like all these hardwoods growing up young shoots like clear cuts and fire burnt places and then in the summer they want the moose the female moose want to be right in a nice safe spot uh with uh, aquatic vegetation and stuff so they go for the shallow ponds and stuff but the males kind of go wherever the best food is i'm going to take a picture up here later Well, there's no moose here today, so this is Michael McCaffrey signing out for the Moose Report. I will be heading deeper into the woods later. I was just saying how I never found any moose turds.
Found them. Well, guys, I must admit, I'm close. And I feel a little weird. But, uh, something's telling me I probably should do this. For one, when I come down and check the trail, I can, if, if I pick up all these moose dirts, <laughs> um, I will know if another moose has come down here and if he's bedding down here. So, um, today I got a hat full of moose turds. Uh, it's the first time I found moose turds that weren't <laughs> squirting moose turds. Um, so I'm picking them up. <laughs> Maybe I'll send them to the turdy lady. I don't know. But, uh, hopefully the moose don't come because my camera's over there. But, yeah. This comes down to a little stream right here. So he's got... He goes up there and eats, I think. There's a clear cut, like, perfect little spot. And he's got water right here. And he just lays right here, I bet. I don't know if these are... If, if this is from the winter or whatnot. But, uh... <laughs> gold mine here. Um... I'm close to moose where I go all the time for moose and this is like on the way and my buddy said he's seen one here or moose tracks here or seen one or something like that so close by anyways oh my hat full of turds oh missing some moose turds here oh no I should have brought my backpack. I never leave without it, and this time I do when I need it. I learned my lesson. I got Ziploc baggies right there. Luckily, I don't have too far to go, but my hat's filling up quickly with these moosters. <laughs> uh, strange things I do. I don't know. After this, I don't know. My wife will be tickled pink, though. Because she loves the, the turd lady, the moose turd lady, whatever her name is. She gets kicked out of that, so she'll like this, I think. Oh, well, that's it, guys. Get back to you. Let you know how the moose adventures go. This is uh, Moose Adventures, episode four. A hat full of turds. Wow. Hit the jackpot here. Holy crap. Looks like I'm gonna have to use my shirt for all these moose turds. I put my hat back on. <laughs> oh boy. I'll smell just like one now. I had a hat full of moose turds. I got a pocket full of moose turds. Now I got a shirt full of moose turds. Boys, oh boys. Somebody's probably going to commit me pretty soon. <laughs> ah, poopy. Well, yeah, guys. This is a perfect place to for a moose to bed down. Eh? Uh, I was, wasn't seeing any other sign. And I just found that big pile right here. But, uh, great little spot for a moose to bed down. Um, I'm thinking... Probably ain't gonna see much, you know, uh, today making all this noise coming down in here and stuff. But the scouting around will pay off someday. I'm hoping, because uh, now that I know if they bed down in here and stuff like that, if I can find out when they bed down and and uh, I can watch this trail coming in, or I could sit right here. And what a great spot! I mean, it's wide open, kind of. Um, I'm almost tempted to stay here today, but I don't know. I gotta keep tracking, keep finding stuff. But if anything, a hat full of moose turds, a pocket full of moose turds, a shirt full of moose turds, that ain't so bad, is it? <laughs> I'm a simple man, a simpleton maybe. But you know, these moose adventures, you always find cool stuff, get you outdoors. Get you doing photography. 
you know, so it's not completely, not a complete loss. You know, I just got to thinking, you know, some photographers are out there taking pictures of moose in the fall, you know, big old moose racks and whatever. Or even this spring, I see a guy on, uh, I see on Facebook, a guy got one on 458, it looks like just a cell phone pic, but still it's cool. I'd settle for that, like, just knowing they're here. But yeah, some photographers are out there taking beautiful moose pictures, and here I am picking up moose turds. <laughs> ah, poopy. Oh, wow. No wonder the kids call me Mr. Poopy Fingers. I guess it is probably name it off the stick now. So I'm looking at eye level at this branch right here, eh? And you can see where the moose has browsed this off. That looks pretty old. He snapped that branch right off. So, this might be a little old. Because them, them are all new shoots, kind of, eh? Coming out of there, but that could be within the last few days. Eh? Springtime. So, I'm thinking this might be a winter bed. Great spot, really. Seen something moving up there. I'm gonna go down all the ways here and see what I find. But yeah, I think this is a winter bed, so it's good to know. Well, I got to get a little closer this time, but it's kind of poopy, so I didn't want to risk it. I hate to get stuck out here. thinking is, is that they're migrating and they're moving up this, or they could be migrating in the middle to this, you know, there's some good spots, big ponds and stuff in there, and uh, yesterday's excursion was a little more east of here, uh, I went kind of south of here, I've covered probably a good 50 mile radius, I'd say. hour period so um, yeah I clocked it yesterday in that other spot I went to it's about 50 miles there um, this is a little bit closer home four wheelers have gone down the path here so I can't really tell but I'm gonna set up on this old railroad track I'll be close to water so I can maybe get some pictures that way and Got the wind blowing right in my face. Really good if this stays that way. That'd be perfect, you know. Um, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here right till freaking dark. See if they come down. I might get lucky. I don't know. You never know. So, one advantage is I got this wind blowing hard in my face, but it changes a lot here. But, uh, one disadvantage that I have is that the light is not in my favor, really. The sunset down there, I want to shoot that way, so I'm thinking maybe I got a tree line, you know, maybe that tree line will help shade some of that sun and I'll use it to my advantage. Maybe set so Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll set right up on that side. I 
think I got a little funnel spot that might work. So, hopefully I don't get a silhouette of a moose. If I do see one, I'll be sad. <laughs> well, it's kind of poopy. I got fishermen down here, Tim. Oh, well, maybe I can run them out with this crazy ass ghillie suit on. You probably think I'm some sort of freak. I try to act all crazy. How does this look? How you doing today? How you doing, fisherman? You catch anything? Probably ain't goddamn fish in here, asshole. <laughs> okay, guys. Set up. <laughs> Today's. I'm all set up here. Waiting for the mosey moose to come by. Um, sitting on the stump. Nice view. I'll show you in a second. Um, today's spring fashion is 3D leaf camo with the pants here, turkey camo. And my blouse today is a uh, this is a Corey Cook attire, and uh, this is Gilly. And, uh, Man, if you try to walk through the woods with this shit, everything sticks to you. It's impossible. I'm sitting up on a tray also. It ain't so bad. As you can see, I'm blending in nicely with the vegetation. Um, I gotta put my gloves on still, yeah, but can't work the phone too well with them. I got the camera gillied up a little bit. Of course, they're gonna see that end, which could be. There ain't no hiding that. And uh, I got a spot where some otters might show up. Uh, I got osprey nest thingy right next to me. And whatever else might come down this trail. I'm hoping the otters or coyote or something might. I'm going to sit here as still as I can. Until uh, dark, I guess. But uh, that's it. That's my uh, spring attire for the evening of this moose adventure episode four uh, hope we get them but you know it's like finding a needle in a haystack you know so wish me luck guys so this is a view from my perch I don't know if he's nesting in that one or not, but I just seen him fly by with something. This is where I'm waiting for him to come out. Hopefully they come through here. They gotta get around this. They might cross a little farther up. I don't know. You never know. But hopefully I can get an otter on this. I'm gonna get some shots of something, but this is the view. Osprey nest. Long view. Moose. Pathway. Chance for otters or whatever else that might fly down here. Nice log to sit on. Well, guys. Episode 4 of Moose Adventures. Looks like another flop. I just got poopy turds. That's all I got. Poopy? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm really not expecting to see one, really. So I don't get too wet down. I didn't see much today, but it was a pretty day to be outside. Look at the mountains back there. Aren't they beautiful? The Mergensers are all nestled up to sleep. I think I spooked them off their perch though, getting up. Um, oh, it's beautiful here right now. Guess I'll have to walk out of here in the dark. If I see a moose then, I'm, I ain't got a chance in hell of getting a picture of it, but I will have the phone rolling on it, eh? Um, this takes pretty good uh, nighttime video. So that's what I'll do, but I highly doubt I'll see it. Um, 
so so long. It's gonna rain the next couple of days, so I'll get to work on episode three and upload it to YouTube and work on four and get that uploaded and by Friday or Saturday I'll be out moosing again. So hope you stay tuned. Sorry I let you down. Did find some moose poop though. <laughs> Later.